Our topic is on the restoration of the Green Bay Harbor, including the Cat Island chain. Today we will be covering what they will be doing to further the restoration and what has been done already. Here's the harbor in the 1960s. Notice the spread of vegetation into the bay and the rich wetlands bordering the water. Now here's a recent photo of the same area. The vegetation has severely receded and the Cat Islands are currently under construction. In the past few years, the islands have made a huge comeback. Record high water and powerful storms swept away most of the island, leaving only shawl. Right now, we are in the middle of rebuilding the island habitats, including 400,000 cubic yards surrounded by four-foot rock wall, using local rock and dredge material from the Fox River. There's finally livable habitat that saw large amounts of emergent vegetation and birds last summer, including the federal endangered piping plover. With an estimated 20 to 30 years left and currently under budget, the Cat Island restoration has a lot of promise and learning opportunities as a barrier project that can be translated to other environmental areas of concern. In an interview we had with Gary Van Vrede, a U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service biologist and expert on the harbor restoration projects, we were able to answer some of the questions regarding the progress. Mr. Van Vrede stated, More birds are expected due to the increased habitat size. Also, emergent vegetation is key indicator of restoration. Also, special groups are allowed now but it is a construction site so that limits access. After completion, it will hopefully be a refuge during nesting season with little public disturbance. We would like to thank Miss Tut for this assignment and special thanks to Gary Van Vrede for the interview. And special thanks to our narrator, Josh Martin.